That is a really problematic notion to, to a former prosecutor. You know who hates f people who flip is corrupt CEOs and leaders of gangs and leaders of the mafia. Because the way that we build cases against the leaders of closed, corrupt criminal organizations is by flipping people up the chain. Uh, that's the best way to build a case. If it wasn't for cooperating witnesses, we never would have convicted John Gotti. We never would have convicted various gang leaders in this city and in other cities that are plagued by violence around the country. So the notion of outlawing cooperating witnesses is hugely problematic. I, I, I understand your point as a prosecutor, but to the president's point, Look, why wouldn't you? If you if you can go in and say I'm going to knock several years off of my term, I guess the question comes down to how reliable of a witness, how believable and credible of a witness is Michael Cohen. Yeah, and that's exactly the battle that plays out at most every trial, right? That the defense lawyer, as we just saw with Paul Manafort, the defense lawyer will argue, look at this person's incentives. He wants to please the government. He's trying to get himself a better deal. And the prosecution typically will respond, you're darn right. He, you know, he's in trouble. He's a criminal right alongside this defendant. And his best interest now is to tell the truth. And that ultimately ends up in the jury's lap. That, it, I mean, following all this playing out, the market we've been talking about, not paying attention to that. And I, I don't know if that's because it's too long of a road to try and figure out all the different directions this takes or if the market doesn't care about what happens at this point because we've already got taxes, tax reform and regulatory reform in the works. What's your take on what happens next, particularly now that New York State has subpoenaed Michael Cohen too, or wants to talk to him? Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm no market expert, but you know, if you had asked me what I expect out, out of the Mueller investigation, I think ultimately we'll see a report from Mueller that will go through Rod Rosenstein and then to Congress. I think we'll all see it. And then it'll become a political question. What does the Congress do? Does, does, does the House vote to impeach, and then if so, does the Senate convict? You know, which, which puts all the more impetus, I think, on the midterms. Um, you know, Michael Cohen is, is obviously a big X factor now. It looks like he has not cooperated with the Southern District of New York. It looks like the plea he took a couple days ago is what we call just a straight plea, meaning there's no cooperation attached. Now, his lawyers sort of advertising. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, him. yeah, come subpoena him and he'll talk. Right. Um, you know, and I guess it'll be up to those respective bodies whether he's telling the truth. I think what he's trying to do is kind of backdoor cooperation. In other words, the Southern District doesn't seem like they want to sign him up as a cooperator. And so I think what Landy Davis wants to do is be able to go in front of the judge and say, Judge, you know, they didn't want Mr. Cohen as a cooperator, but he was out there giving testimony to everyone who wanted it, so he should get a benefit. Hey, Ellie, I, yeah. I, um, I don't know about the collusion side of things, and this Cohen, you know, depend, with what Lanny Davis is saying, he's at least advertising maybe there's something there that, that Cohen knows or will, will try to prove. Yeah. But just with the Manafort conviction, I saw that you said that the, anyone who called it a witch hunt, that they're now being, that it's being refuted. I mean, you know when Trump says witch hunt, I know you know exactly what he's talking about. So how does Manafort being convicted of things that happened years ago in his own, you know, as far as the IRS in his own situation, how does that vindicate that, that it hasn't been a witch hunt in terms of collusion? I don't see how that's related. Yeah, so, and, and, you're, and I think what you're saying is that when the president uses that term witch hunt, collusion, he, means he means collusion. Coordinating with Russia on hacking the election. Exactly. Right. So when Manafort gets convicted, yeah. why do you say that it's a bad day for the witch hunt? Uh, uh, yeah, because it's an important moment of credibility and legitimacy for what Mueller's doing. You know, the, How? Because the, the, this was a contested case. It went in front of a jury. Manafort had outstanding defense lawyers. No, but how does it relate to, to the collusion it, side? It Unless they can squeeze him and he knows something. It, well, it does not relate to the hacking of the DNC. Okay, so then no it, question about specifically it. Specifically about witches, we haven't found a yeah, way. Yeah, but I mean, and witch. also, look, the, the, the conduct goes into 2016. You know, one of the, the bank the loans that was issued. The next trial could be interesting. Yeah, and, and right. what, even at the Virginia trial, one of the bank loans at issue, remember, Manafort sends an email into Jared Kushner saying, can we take care of this CEO? $60 million dollars from pro-Russia Ukrainian entities. So, I mean, it, there's that smoke too. all over the place. <laughs> I'm just looking for the, the actual yeah. And I don't know whether also, it's there. These That's cases it. are in these jurisdictions because Mueller kicked them out because they had nothing to do with Russia. I don't know right. if it's because they had nothing to do with Russia. I mean, look, he, he's got a, you know, you don't, Manafort was Mueller's own people. I mean, that was, that trial was done by the special, uh, the special counsel's people. He kicked Michael Cohen, Cohen yeah. over to Southern District. There's millions of documents documents that I believe that may just be a force multiplier you know he, he needs these folks but the other thing I would say is there are plenty of crimes on the books other than uh, you know conspiring uh, with, with with a foreign country to hack an election I don't think the books closed on that yet I think we still need to see what Mueller comes out with but I think it's still a great concern if the president's involved in other federal crimes as well